The eel was one of the great salmon rivers of California historically. Numbers that are thought to be a million fish in good years, which is just incredible to think about. And we're hugely down from what those historic numbers are. The eel has seen a lot of problems through the years. Clear-cut logging in the lower watershed, fish canneries early on that heavily reduced the salmon populations, and then cannabis in more modern times. So it's really about connection to place for me. And salmon are, they're just an indicator. When salmon are in a river, you know it's doing okay. I always call it the gift. It's very, very important for natives to be in touch with the earth and, and our river is everything. It's, it's our life's blood, it runs through our veins. My fight for the river is from a promise that I gave my father on his deathbed when I said, what do you want me to do, Dad? And he said, go home and help your people. Men and women are made up of swimmers and receivers. Fish are swimmers, and we receive what they give. They're part of a living circle, and we need that. We need to keep that. I ain't wrestled a fish in a long time. We were the people born from the Creator to protect this earth and our children and our elders and to take this away from our people and our culture. It's a sad state of affairs. When the project was originally built, it was built as a, as a hydropower project, just with the, the lower dam, Cape Horn. And so it was really just to shunt water through the mountain um, to the powerhouse, you know, during periods of high flow. And then about 20 years after that, they built the larger Scott Dam to store winter water. That way they could release it slowly through the summer and, and continue to generate hydropower. You conveniently have this glut of water that's coming out of the powerhouse into Potter Valley and then eventually flowing down the Russian River. And so now you have these folks that are, you know, at least partially dependent on the water coming out of this project. Sonoma County Water Agency serves 600,000 customers in Sonoma and Marin counties. The Sonoma County Water Agency relies on water from the Potter Valley Project to help fill Lake Mendocino. Waters released from Lake Mendocino make their way all the way down the main stem of the Russian River, is blended with a lot of other sources of water in the Russian River, including runoff from all the tributaries in the Russian River before it makes its way eventually to customers. My husband's family were pioneers in the valley. Our grandchildren are fifth generation Potter Valley farmers. The quality of life and the economy of inland Mendocino County has become dependent on this water supply. Without it, it doesn't seem very likely that agriculture can survive. Anyone who farms in Potter Valley on the valley floor below the irrigation district ditches is 100% dependent on the water supply coming out of the diversion in the summertime. Potter Valley itself is the most vulnerable in terms of the loss of this diversion in that we are above Lake Mendocino. If Scott Dam were to be removed, we would have to find storage on this side of that project. We're not interested in dam removal just for the sake of getting the dams out of the river, but they're a keystone piece of actually recovering the ecosystem. 
the dams really heat the water up and they also keep fish from getting to that headwater habitat, which is where fish want to be in the summertime. Smaller, cooler tributary streams that feed into those main stem rivers. We've done a lot of work to show what's feasible and what's possible, but ultimately at this point, this project's up to PG&E. It's uneconomical for them to operate, so they, they lose money on it. We're really hopeful that, you know, this is ultimately gonna lead PG&E to decide, you know, we need to cut our losses, we need to do the work, spend the money to get these dams out of the river. And then if there is an opportunity to maintain that diversion, we really see that as sort of a, a separate process that, you know, could potentially take place down the road. PG&E no longer wants to operate the project. We're very much hoping that there will be a continued diversion of water that benefits not only residents in the Russian River, uh, our economy, but the ecosystems. The same species that interests in the Eel River would like to see gain access to habitats upstream of Scott Dam and Lake Pillsbury have also depended for almost 100 years on flows into the Russian River with the decommissioning uh, and the surrender of the Power Valley Project could have very negative consequences for salmon and steelhead on the Russian River. Ultimately, the people who are dependent on the water supply are going to pay the lion's share of the owning, operating, managing of whatever the diversion looks like moving into the future. We don't know what that time frame is. We don't know if we have three years to get it done or 20 years to get it done and people whose livelihoods depend on this water supply need to be protected as well. There's so much more to this river than just water. It's a life source as much as the blood in your veins. This is something my father taught me. No matter what you do, when you come home at the end of the day, and if for any reason you see your reflection, be it in water, in a window, in a mirror, you see your reflection, can you stare that reflection in the eye and go, I'm doing the best I can do. Our existence is of nature and we need to make it for nature again. We're sort of at this inflection point where not all hope is lost. Hopefully, if we can put this habitat back together, we actually have a good chance of recovery here that frankly just doesn't exist in a lot of rivers in California. We've pushed the species in both watersheds to the brink. They need as much help as we can give them, and I think we're smart enough to figure out a two-basin solution that protects both rivers. I think it's not beyond us to be able to figure this out and do it right sustain the folks that are dependent on the water supply and protect the fisheries and the environment that has been impacted by it.